So today we're making a crawfish boil. We have some pre-cooked frozen crawfish because out here the live crawfish is like eight dollars a pound and not doing it. We have onions, we have garlic, like that, like we have lemon, we have onion, celery, we have the Zataran uh, crawfish shrimp and crab oil bag, we have the Zataran shrimp crab oil, we have the shrimp and crab oil powder, we also have garlic powder. All these need to go in to give this some flavor. Okay, let's get this started. First thing we want to do is throw in our data in bag. Give it some flavor. Then the powder. And I like it spicy, so I'm going for it. The concentrate next. Yeah, I'm not going crazy with that. That'll break you down. Then we have the granulated garlic I want to put in there. Right, the garlic. Celery. Giant garlic. The onions go in. Lemon. Squeeze it. Oh, shot myself. It's all good. Lemon. Oh, crap. Slow down, dude. Slow down. Oranges. Alright. More lemon. Make sure it's seasoned really well. Even though it's a small batch. Now we're going to let this come to a boil. Almost caught me slipping. Forgot the bay leaves. Throw some bay leaves in there. Gotta have that. Alright, now it's time to add the crawdads in. It's come to a nice little boil. Gotta be careful. Don't want to burn yourself. There we go. Lay it on. Get about 10 minutes. So I removed the lid. What I'm going to do now, since it's done, I'll let it go about 15 minutes. Now I'm going to put a little bit of ice on the top to slow the heating process. And what it's also going to do is going to draw all that flavor into the crawdad, into the crayfish, the mud bun, whatever you want to call it. And then going to let this sit for 20 minutes. Once you do that, you are done. Enjoy. And you know it's good to go because once the ice melts, the crawfish, they're going to sink. Because they're going to have all the weight and all that flavor in them, and they're going to sink under, under the top of the water. Then you know you're good to go.